I want to uh, talk a little about Siri. Siri is the new uh, personal assistant um, iPhone program that's built on $150 million worth of um, research and funding from DARPA. And it's AI. And my question is this. Could, and I think it could be, I think Siri could be adapted to education. And this is, and this is my idea. What we could do, there's, you know, and there's, there's the premise. There's over 6,000 education apps for the iPhone. And what we would have to do is organize these apps into, and they're pretty much they're searchable right now, but we'd have to take it to the next level of organization. Um, exactly where would they fit in to education and for what, okay? So Surrey would know how to deal with it. Um, and basically it would work like this. Sir Siri would take over your iPhone. Um, and it would, you know, there's an option in Siri that it's constantly monitoring you every time you, you put the phone to your ear. We would actually have it constantly monitoring. And we probably have to have um, a device or a, an add-on for the iPhone to slide in so there's two front cameras in facing uh, the individual. Two cameras are important because you can actually use, uh, you know, you can you can determine who's speaking and everything else, and um, and you can actually use image recognition, um, like augmented ID from TAT, to recognize who the, the user is. So Surrey would actually adjust to the user. So if I'm using it, Surrey would go, oh, it's Michael using it, and I'm going to load up his education. If my son's using it, he's going to go, oh, Tommy's using it, and he's going to load up and, and uh, do uh, handle his. Now, what Siri will do is it, it will actually take over the control of your iPhone. So, um, the, unless, you know, so for when Tommy picks it up and he goes, oh, it's Tommy, it kind of locks it. And it will say, do you want to play a game? And then it will listen, right? And Tommy's going to say, yes, okay. Do you want to play a math game or English game, you know, or basically math, you know, math or uh, language arts? And Tom is going to say math or English, counting or whatever, you know, it doesn't have to say maybe, you know, math is a little bit too high level, but he could learn what math is very quickly. Uh, or an animal game, you know, and say, so what game do you want to play? Or maybe he listens and he goes, did you mean animal game? Yes, Tommy says. And all of a sudden what it's going to do is it's going to load up um, an animal game, and there's tons of them. You know, I've got tons of them on, on the iPhone from my son already. And what what Siri is going to do is it's going to monitor how Tommy interacts with this game. At what point does he get bored? Um, when does he lose interest? He's going to keep he's going to keep track of all this. Now, again, he's going to basically use image recognition, facial recognition, and also maybe when Tommy stops playing with it. You know, he'll say, oh, you stop playing, you're not playing. Now, another opportunity is there's technologies from um, Emotive, which is EEG technologies that actually can monitor. So, and in, in, in for Tommy, he just thinks it's a headset. So, Siri can say, put on the headset. So, he puts on the wireless headset that automatically connects to this external unit, right? Um, it's all built into this unit for the iPhone. And, um, and, and, and basically Tommy now, um, you know, Siri now is reading Tommy's EEG and he's actually, he knows when Tommy's excited because when he starts playing a new game, that level of excitement is there and he's recognizing that. And then he knows when Tommy gets bored because that level falls off and, you know, um, and again, maybe using facial and other things and he can ask, you know, do you, do you want to keep playing? Tommy would probably say, no, play something new, you know? Tommy can say play something new and every time he says play something new Surrey will say okay and it'll pop up a new game right so you know in, in all this time all the actions that Tommy is doing is being monitored now this is a lot simpler in a way than what Siri is on the iPhone now, you know the iPhone there's a lot more choices with Siri um, he's got to figure out what it is that you want really um, everything that we would we would tailor Siri to do is pretty yes or no and um, you know moving um, and it will save what you know the games that he likes 
the ones that he plays the most, you, you know, you ask him, do you like this game? Yes. You know, you want to pick a game you like, and, it, and then all of a sudden on the screen, he'll have a list of, you know, he'll pop up the games. So, you know, so Siri, in a way, would actually control the interaction. So you want to play this game or this game? You know, you could ask questions like that. Um, and really take over your iPhone. So, you know, and the great thing here is that, well, great thing for game developers is, what if, you know, it wouldn't matter, I wouldn't have to go find a game for Tommy. There's all these trial games out there for toddlers and everything else that will actually load up games and see if Tommy likes the games and kind of sort them through, you know, and let him play with it. And the thing is, using some simple API technology, what can happen is, if you add this API technology to your game in game development, basically will allow Siri to actually actually load up the game specifically where he left off. So if Tommy is, is learning the alphabet, and he re Siri realizes he knows the C, because Siri is also listening, and he says C, and he's like, that's right. You know, he hears the game go, that's right. He knows that means, you know, Tommy's mastered it. So Siri would not even have to have a lot of, um, you know, input or knowledge in regards to um, yes or no. He could actually listen to the parameters of the game and determine whether it's a success or not. Um, and also, again, he, so he's measuring the parameters of the game, and he's also measuring the parameters of, of, um, of Tommy. So here's an application on the iPhone that has been used as a personal assistant that could completely change the functionality of the iPhone um, with probably not a lot of effort. The Siri personal assistant, the AI application that I just shared about. So, you know, think about it. What do you think? Am I crazy or, you know, am I seeing the obvious that no one else has seen? Change is coming and it's coming in a big way for education.